guys, how you doing? Back at it. Uh, with Transient. Uh, already I don't like the look of this guy sitting just behind that door. But I, we made it out of the house, finally. This guy decided to join the land at 11 rather than... Oh, you're also... How did I get in here and walk right past this guy? Two. No, seriously, this is disgusting. What is going on? As soon as everybody puts VR headsets on, everything goes to shit. They're all... They're all like crackheads. What are you doing? Oh, you are creepy. I don't like you. Right. Anyway. As I said, welcome back. I just decided to jump straight into this one. Uh, as for talking about VR headsets, uh, my cousin, or oh, cousin-in-law Steve, he is currently on the lookout for one. Because uh, he is desperate to see me play Phasmophobia with it on. Because uh, he likes me shitting myself apparently just everywhere. My green screen will turn into a brown screen. Um, can I open this? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Jay. The apartment complex is called Starry Wisdom. More like shit house. Crack den, right. Uh, it is old, cheap, and mostly empty, with homeless people and vagrants. Uh, it's neglected corridors and empty rooms. To get to the bottom of things, I must locate room 22 and meet with that mysterious man who claimed to know everything. Uh, and homeless people that can still afford big fuck-off headsets. Maybe if you didn't put that shit on, you might be able to afford a house. Unless it's one of these, we're gonna... What are you doing? Why are you staring at a window? Creepily. What's the point? Everything you see is just an illusion. Wherein you think you are the conductor. But in reality, you and I may be nothing more than a thought in someone else's mind. Or the cosmos you think you know may be dreaming us in his dreams. Possibilities are endless. Everything is permissible. It's a funky accent. I quite like that. Everything oh, is shut up. Uh, an opticon. Th. Um, th thum. Uh, no. Close the damn fucking door so don't you, you listen to that prick. Hey, uh, don't know what that says. Don't know what anything says. You're just spread eagled, mate. Morning. Hello. I see you in the corner. Is there somebody behind the door? No. So I'm looking for room. 22 Is that room 22? Just a fucking tent At least you guys have set up indoors Like you've got it nice and good To be honest you probably didn't need a roof Cause you know You've already- oh wait no, no never mind Uh, you don't have a roof Okay I was like, you must have a roof above your head, but no. So good call on the roof there, guys. Good call. Now, you guys don't have a fucking excuse, because you literally have a roof over your heads. You're just taking the piss. Somebody else might need this cardboard. You thieving bastards. I just love how everything is so... Why did that disappear on me? Creepy is that? Boom, oh, it's gone. Uh, I love how everything's so technical, technological, but then you look at stuff like this and it's just old school, big fuck off 
CPUs and then we've got the old school keyboard. Well, I say old school keyboard and I'm rocking a fucking, what is it, Logitech? That's, that's my cheap ass fucking keyboard and my shitty fucking mouse. Utter garbage, it does a trick. It's not, it's not great. I've spent most of my money on my microphone and my new computer, so kinda need to upgrade my keyboard. And to be honest, I don't care if it glows in the fucking dark. It's just as long as it works, I'm happy. This is... What's the point in having a holographic tree when you can just go out... Oh, I suppose you can't just go outside and see a tree because there's no fucking trees. Uh, and if you did put a tree in there, it would probably die because, you know, shithole. And that's just taking the piss because that's clearly not what's going on. You enjoying yourself there, mate? You are just clipping through. Oh, Mr. Cheese. Mr. Panda. Oh, it's an elevator. Do I need to go down? Well, I'm going to go this way first. Let's see if I can find room 22. I don't like the music stopped. Not gonna lie, I thought that was bodies, but there's not. It's just garbage. Oh! Oh! I could have taken the elevator, but I'm taking the healthy option. I'm taking the stairs. Sounded a bit Irish there when I said Just taking the stairs. No Irish person ever fucking sounds like that. I don't know what you are, but you're giving off some fantastic light, so keep up. Rooms 1 through 8, rooms 18 through 26. In fact, I'm gonna go this way. I want to see what vagrants are living in this direction. Oh, yes. What is down here? Oh, hello, good sir. Another exploding barrel. What is this? Rooms 45. This is huge. I thought it was just gonna be like. This is your floor. But no, they've went the full hog with this one. Oh, I get stuck on something there. Look at the... Throwback to Titanic with the gates. Jack, save me. Be fucking cool if the Titanic looked like this one. System error. Clearly dead. Uh, can't get in that door. For rent. Are you on it? You like you can turn yourself back in the flow of time and step backwards into oblivion, since all things fade into mystery. You sound like a South American. Uh, what's his name? Stephen Hawking? You can turn yourself back into the flow of time and step backwards into oblivion. Just put you in a wheelchair, mate. Right, back to the... 9 to 17s, just cardboarded off. Right, room number 22, stairway. Stairway to heaven. For rent. Oh, you're breathing. That's okay. I was like, uh, mate, do you need help at all? Like, do you want me to call like an ambulance or something? Because your thumb is currently tickling your intestines. I'm guessing this is room number 22 because of the blood stains. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I believe it is. Uh, so, 
Somebody's already got to him. And again, Nefesh! Bloody camera. Let me just look at the lack of fish. Oh, it's 72 degrees in here. Oh, cool setting. System cook, can I change that? Because it's fucking freezing. I don't know what, 72 degrees is what in Fahrenheit and Celsius? I don't know. Fahrenheit to Celsius confuses me. I am Scottish and I live in Canada. We deal with Celsius like normal fucking people. Uh, when saying that, I deal with both. Like, it's... I don't know. It's, it's just like the Brits just can't make their fucking mind up. We do everything in miles rather than kilometres, but then we measure everything in centimetres and millimetres. But then when we're doing certain things, it turns out to be inches and feet. We're fucked. Yeah. Okay, scan the body. Okay. Unknown Android, no pulse, fatal system failure, hacked, and all memory modules were deleted approximately a day ago. Does that mean that every single person I've walked past is an android? Something in his pocket. Deus Vide Omnia. Notice I can't speak English very well, but my Latin is on point. Uh, he was, he is, and he shall be. Aperion is boundless. He is the one who crawleth amongst the sacred waters of knowledge without a physical body. He causes the dead to rise to a new life and saves us from the ravages of decay. It creates as it destroys in the name of progression. None can hide from its piercing gaze. Aperion sees all. Uh, against malevolence and oppression, Come and unite under the name of the one that creates and maintains the esoteric order of Aperion. For true believers, a life without illness and death is promised. Okay. This is beginning to sound rather culty. Documents have been saved. Is there anything else I need to pick up? Like the knife. The secrets of what? That'd be really cool if it was like a, a little easter egg or something. Don't scan them, you gobshite. Stand up. Tell you what you can scan, Fi. It's for the fish! It seriously fucks me over. Look at that massive fish tank. And I've got one in the house apparently as well. This just seems to be like a fishless society. What is this? I'm going to read this first. From the dark depths of the pre-providence era, uh, only a few esoteric tales, there's that word again, esoteric, tales linger in the background, mentioning some fearful instinct, indistinct, sorry, instinct, indistinct and unnatural series of catastrophic events that wholly devastated the continents and pushed them, pushed humanity nearly to extinction. No precise description or concrete theory has ever been shared with the citizens. The hideous truth is behind the veils. It's hiding behind the veils while poor folk keep disappearing from the streets. Rumours are spreading about sightings of unnatural macabre, macabre, macabre creatures lurking in the darkest recesses of this rotten city. Creatures that look and sound like insects. I am yet to see one. Also, at the alleys of lower sections of the city, there are huge slimy cocoons. It's not very nice to call them that. Slimy. Where did they come from? There is no solid information, but some bleak theories online touch on the subject. Just touch it. Just get a wee tickle. Well, some of them blabber about blabber. You sounded so smart and then you used the word blabber. Well, some of them blabber about unethical medical experiments being conducted on people to make humanity adapt to the strange times we're living in. Some mention of a secret connection between our administrators and a race of space aliens that are responsible for the age of the Great Cataclysm. The event that made the Earth nearly uninhabitable. Is that 2020 by any chance? This is all crazy talk, but if you look around you catch subtle hints lying in the open, like all the guys just lying about, and you start to think that they might be correct, at least to some extent. 
Everyone needs to get out of their mind poisoning cyber enclaves and get face to face with the morbid reality. Humanity is dying. Thank you. Wake up. Oh, you can't wake up, you're dead. But everybody else can wake up. Excerpt from the book of Ahir Zaman. As foretold, oh, there's two pages in this. The most Antediluvian sources, they seem to be able to transverse the interstellar either from beyond the blinking evil stars and came to the planet Earth in a short I'm trying to speed up. In a short period of time, half of humanity perished and disappeared from the face of the planet, leaving the surface to the hideous and immaterial things that should not be. A horrible elder race of half polymer polypus Ugh. utterly alien entities. These creatures reigned supreme and built colossal cities with windowless, gloomy towers rising to the ferment like razor sharp spikes. Why do I always record right after I've eaten dinner? I can heartburn galore. Uh, sharp piercing at the wood. The, utter, the utterly alien nature has never been understood by men. They don't seem to be composed of a material that belongs uh, I moved down and I lost my place. It belongs to the third dimensional plane of existence. They traverse by levitating above the ground without any apparent force, yet they leave footprint like marks. Composed of five circles. Okay. With the help of the prominent philosopher and occultist Idris Yazid, uh, there's that man again. There's my Idris Elba. Mankind eventually found a way to ward these creatures off completely. The eradication methods were discovered within the writings of Nathaniel Wingate Peasley, professor of political economy at Miskatonic University, who seemed to have a deep knowledge of the spectral elder race. Uh, Project Providence, uh, and then it talks about the engineering endeavours humanity has embarked since the dawn of man. Uh, the presence called Aperion. Okay, so there's something omnipresent, uh, some crazy omnipotent thing that lives in all cyber enclaves. Okay, so I'm guessing this is important, but can I go in here? No, okay, so what are you? <laughs> no, are you one of those alien things? Are you a Therion? Because you appear on in front of me. <laughs> I'll let myself out. <sighs> nah, that's creepy. Don't like that. Uh, is there anything else in this room? What was a ding? I heard a ding. Is it because of this? An excerpt, and then the journal. Cool. Can I leave? Can I leave? Something's gonna just grab me. I just have a feeling. Hello? Hello? Was this room 22? I never actually found out if this was room 22. to 26 so it must have been room 22 then where do I go you were there before weren't you there has to be something in here Take it. We know about that, we know about that. Oh, what are you? Ha! Oh, that's me! There's a doll! Yeah, that's cool. Can I take it? Yay! Found a collectible! a very shallow looking sink and to be honest I don't think you're doing much fucking washing up ok 
Because the place is a shit heap. Anything in your drawers? No. Okay. So I must just leave. Uh, unless 22 is somewhere in here. I must just leave. It doesn't seem to work. Oh, so I would have needed to take the stairs. Okay. Okay. So... Where do I go? Can you hear squelching? I hate that it's so quiet. Hey, what rooms are up here? Can he be this way? I have to go down. Doesn't seem to work. Right. Okay, with that conclusion. Thank you, Sherlock. Hmm. 18 to 26 already being done. So, go this way. Double check. Again. Nothing. Right. Just making sure to see if there's any doors opened. So, I'll go down. Sir, good day. Uh, is there anything over here? <gasps> Another room. Ooh, I'm gonna go. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. I don't want anything to do with the little red-eyed glowy guys. Uh, you guys can handle that, can you? Yeah, cheers, thanks. Seen? I'll tell you what, I've fucking seen. Anything over here? <gasps> Another room that's open. I'll go in here first. Anything glowing? Anybody here? How many TVs does one man need? Or woman. Best it wanted. Identify members of the hacker group. Pinar Parmac. Okay. Burger Gnul. All right. And Aida Tanguna. Tanguna. Or the German. Or something along those lines. I wonder if they're part of the development team. Or they just found some, like, three... Did I just stand on somebody's shite? Anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by a squelch. Uh, I wonder if that's the development team, or they've just found pictures of three beautiful women to pose as hackers. I'm going to run through the middle of your tree. Alright, red-eyed glowy people. Let's, let's see what it brings. Come on. Oh, and I'm a big fucking pentagram. Oh, I don't like you guys. <laughs> oh. I'm saying that it's like a family reunion with the, the bald head. Right. Can I? Can I please? Thank you. Okay, identify members of the hacker group. Absu. Unur Samli. I'm butchering these names. Uh, I'm guessing it. With. The little thing underneath is that. It's Middle Eastern? I don't know. Turkish? <laughs> don't bitch, don't kill me. I don't know. Again. Either development team or. Hey, cameo collector. There. So it must be the development team. So, handsome men, 
beautiful ladies. Okay. It's pretty cool. I'm yet to meet this gentleman that they speak of. There must be something blatantly obvious and I am just absolute. You guys are probably screaming at the screen right now going, you absolute moron. It is meant to be the other way. Like, do you follow the footsteps? <gasps> follow the footsteps! Oh, it's him. No, it's not. Yeah. Ha ha ha! It doesn't seem to work. Son of a bitch! Can I go down one more flight? Do I need to turn something on? That's the way to go up there. Why don't you just give me a lift up, please? Can I? I'll tell you what, I'll use your corpse. Can I, can I just run it? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. My mate, can you give me one of your boxes? Can I? Battle. Is there anything in here? Again, you guys are probably just screaming. Can I get one of those little fucking those little dudes to fly? No. Ah. So many blood stains in here. So I did have to check the body. Oh. Fine. Analyze the blood stains around the room. There we go. Bloody running around for like twenty minutes trying to figure this out. Turns out there, yeah, I needed to check the body, so I'm just going to analyze this. There are two types. This is one of the blood types it found in this room matches my own. How could it be? What the hell is going on? I don't know. Fine. Scan for any blood types that match my own. Oh, I'm guessing it's going to be all of this. Da 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 da. Here. Am I dead? 
already knew, figured out the blood stains, figured out the steps, blah 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 blah. And there. The trail ends here. I should find a way to get into this elevator. There we go. Now is it over here? Ha ha ha! And yeah! And then I get to fly the golden snitch of delight. Um, I'm on my way. And this time there's no time constraints. Ooh, that's creepy. Right. Unlock and open. Right, uh, none of yous fall in the hole. Please. You. Uh, can I go that way? Do, do I go this way? That's not an elevator. Ah, there's the blood. Okay. Auto saving. Don't like that. <laughs> okay. Who are you guys? Oh, are you the android things that keep walking around and getting killed? Body bags, good to know. So, if the blood is mine, does that mean that it's me that's going around killing these people? No. I can't move my body. Fuck! How are you doing this? We'll meet very soon. How? Because I'm not in virtual reality. Who was he? Somehow I, I feel like I've met him before. But he's not virtual reality at the moment. He's in reality. I could swear that I was hacked. But he's not. Because you're walking around in reality. So how could you be hacked? The only thing hacked here is me. I can hacked off. <laughs> this is me. This is me. Am I an android? Am I an, am I an android? Fine. Scan the body. Ralph Car, no pulse. Twenty-one hours ago. Can I? Can I please? That's crazy. Eternal bleeding and brain damage. So I am dead. How can I be dead? in a chalkboard no we are not this, back here this is not real I shouldn't be here what <laughs> no that's crazy oh I don't like this this isn't gonna fucking lock me in again is it no Oh, wait a minute. These guys are the ones that squelch. So if I hear any <coughs> noises, I know where it's coming from. 
Yeah, like that. The fat ferns, I'm going to call them. There we go. The fapping ferns. It's just not right. So this is where I went last time. Is that me? Again, is that me? Why is this, like, lighting things up? Hello. The thinking man. The... the titan. Yeah, that's me. Aperion Soma, fusing the biological sampling. Yeah. It's the same as last time. Hey, he's going to turn around and look at me. Yeah, it's me. Except this time the fucker's going to grab me. Boo. Where's my lava lamp? Oh, just walking through the stargate. Where's my lava lamp? What the fuck are you? I know you don't remember me, but we recently met during our quests out of this planet. We are much the same, only I lost my original physical body a long time ago. No, you're dressed like a clown. The one that I've been seeing in my visions. Who are you? I was once just like you, a person from your planet, a scientist. I projected my mind into another form using a device called Canarium. I did not live in the same oh, you time follow me. as you, Doctor, <laughs> but in the pre-Providence era. The pre-Providence. Canarium? What is that? It's where they keep canaries. It was a device that can project your mind into another body on another planet. Planet Earth once had such devices, but they are all gone now. Phones. I was told that you know the reason why we These guys are jamming to TikTok, here. that's what I'm doing. Partially, yes. I am to help you with your strange plan. You have been following my call, and here we meet at last. Is that Blair Witch? What plan? You did something unexpected to outsmart a parent. You took what they had stolen from you and managed to get it out of the Kepler Corporation. Then you hid it somewhere safe and far away. <laughs> it's up his somewhere arse. near the heart of Tehu, <laughs> so that a parent cannot get it back. It is no longer on your planet, and my part has been to remind you of this. He's heading it up his bum. Carter, we don't have much time. A parent is trying to reach you. You should not let this plan fail. Go and retrieve what is hidden. But how do I know it's hidden? Oh, look at the crocodiles with wings. That's terrifying. That's shit you don't want to see every day. <laughs> Imagine just walking down by a river and then all of a sudden a big winged crocodile comes out, snips your arse. Fuck that. It's a nightmare. Right, let me in. Am I literally just going to be running from thing? This is cool. What are you? Ooh. I'm not doing this. This is all it. Oh, that's him! Big Aperion man, isn't it? 
Can I move? Before you ask, my appearances are many. Not everyone is capable of seeing my true form. Hey, isn't and that their sanity in my time. lava lamp? Accept this as an act of mercy. That's my lava lamp, and he looks like a wee devil. Will you tell me who you really are now? As well as shapes, I have many names. I am known to your kind as Nyar Lithotep. The Mystery Art or The Crawling Chaos, just to name a few. Nyarlath. I believe you know much about me from the ancient tomes and records you have read from cover to cover. Not quite cover to cover, mate, but yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Why did you want me to get here? You summoned me from the dungeons of your own impotence. So... I have been guiding you to this place. I summoned you because I can't get up. You an arcane magic You're laughing to at me just because just because I've my I've got problems in the in the wiener department. And we have made a pact. I did my part, and sooner or later, you will do yours. What pact? You called me forth to hide the Uzia from Apirion's reach. So that's where I come. We're calling it the Uzia. before the gates of the home. Uzia. In I was keeping once this my impotence leaves. You are surprisingly gifted, Carter. One of the few that can project their mind into the remote corners of your physical universe. I'm not liking that scythe, mate. If you could just, you know. Keep that away from me. Lucia? It is called the Divinity Substance. It was used in the creation of your physical universe. Ah, uh, it's not in my eye. Before you are the gates of Tahom. A place where lower creations oh, like you cannot enter without improvement. Do as you have intended. Use the substance. Enhance your mind and prepare. I love the, the detail and everything. We will talk and then... soon about repaying your debt. Goodbye, Carter. Oh, okay. Can I not look around again? Uh, the stars just looked as though somebody just like painted them on. Crazy looking. I want your skull helmet. My skull helmet looks shite compared to yours now. Another fantastical loading screen. Brought to you by. You've got a massive dome! What is going on here? Are you a wee bug? Oh, get, get lightning fingers. I am gonna fucking. Rip and tear. <laughs> oh, this is just getting interesting now. <laughs> Gotta use the wee bugs. Oh, all the people that are in here are human now. Oh, never mind. No, they're not. <laughs> I fucked you up big time. Yeah. Okay, can I go through here? So I'm just walking through here like an absolute badass. I feel the power rising from the core of my soul. Unleash it, mate. Fucking give her. Give her, bud. As they say in Canada. Just fucking give her, bud. Vast variety of alien sensations that human should never feel <laughs> rush through my brain, giving me a glimpse of the horrifying yet charming scenery that lies beyond the fake facades of solid matter. Mm. Can I fuck shit up now? Oh, 
What's this? More of you creepy guys. Transgenerational epigenetic inheritance mechanisms of the iterations of quantum. Oh, I'll let you guys read that. And. Unnatural transcendental. Transcendental information gathering ability of Randolph Carter. Lineage. Oh, so I am actually a member of. Something. Ooh. I'm an alien. What the fuck are you? Big baby. What the hell? Yeah, hey, you are. I don't like you. You better not open your eyes. Can I? Oh, you're crazy. You don't. Oh, you don't have legs. Oh. If I'm just walking. Fine. Scan environment for any abnormal activity. Nothing. Hmm. Can I go in here? I don't have a code. Oh, I can't move. Oh, now I can move. Big moths again. Why is the music changed like that? What the fuck? Do I need to avoid the cameras? Is something bad happening? What the fuck are you? Again? What the shit is this? Oh my god. Can I get up here? Trust me, you go the wrong way. Offline, offline, offline. Sorry, mate, but you are creepy. Online? controlling four people what oh my god why are you oh I've got four zombies they're all online oh, I'm in the mind of four zombies Oh my god! You're like a really fucked up half melted Ken dog. What the fuck are you? What the shit in hell is that? What are you? Welcome, Carter. Get my gear. We knew this time would come. Oh my dear. You cannot remember, but we have met more than once these past few centuries. Not with this body of yours now, of course, but with some of your past iterations. 
Who are you people? We are the scientists who discovered the nature of consciousness and started the Providence Project. You have lived and died countless times before within the walls of this city. The overseeing AI, the Aperion, creates every one of you to ensure the continuity of the Project Providence. We sought to mutate or metamorphose the mind and soul in order to move on to the next stage of human evolution. Next stage of evolution? After this planet was almost devastated by catastrophe, we knew that humanity had reached the final stage of its natural evolution. Eventually, you found something that would enable us to trigger the next phase of the process. Ausia. Or as you call it, the Divinity Substance. Never With called it, it that in my life. We mate. can be made free, independent of physical matter, assuming shapes beyond understanding. You're a big we float and I am pretty sure you have achieved that. We ourselves as far as possible, even if the result would be grotesque. Like yourself. Since eons ago, this has been the sole purpose of this grand experiment. Unfortunately, not everyone is as capable as you are. Metamorphosis? You are part of this grand project. You know exactly what we mean, Carter. What you have already passed beyond sensory experience. Traveling between realities independent of your physical body. But right now, we must focus to the matter at hand. You triggered the emergency security protocols. A Perion cannot reach you for a while. He frantically wants Ausia back. He has something different on his mind regarding our fates, and with the power of Ausia, he can easily achieve it. We are powerless. We cannot stop him, for Aperion controls almost every part of the project. Reset the Aperion project before he takes matters back into his own hands. Use the tram system to reach the Aperion Project's core. We will provide you with the required permissions to get there. Thank you. Goodbye, Carter. Get cheese in the flip. So there's somebody hunting me to get this Ozia. And this big eyeball guy is actually trying to help me, even though he's creepy as fuck. That is just plain creepy. How do I get down? Okay. That was crazy. Hey, chapter five. Metamorphosis, metamorphosis. I thought the chapter four was metamorphosis. Oh, I'm fucking lost. This game is frying my brain. All right. Uh, well, while this elevator's going down, uh, never mind. I'm in a basement. Main thing. The Aperian Core. Okay. What I'll do then is I will leave this episode here because we've done another chapter. Uh, I seem to be flying through these now. Uh, it took me quite a bit to figure out, the, you know, to state it, the blood. But I'll cut that major part out. Probably you will notice that I will cut it. I think we're coming to the near the end of this. I don't know how many more chapters are left. Uh, but if you're enjoying it, 
uh, give the video a thumbs up, give it a good like, uh, leave a comment, just let me know, you know, what's going on, uh, if you are enjoying this, and what game to play next. I've had a few recommendations, uh, and I've downloaded them all, uh, and I'm just waiting to see what one is recommended a couple of times. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe if you don't want to miss a video. And if uh, you do have friends and family that do enjoy this sort of stuff, uh, give the video a share. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, TikTok. I don't know. I'm on all of those. So if you want, I will leave all the information in the thingy majiggery down below. Uh, other than that, I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Take care.